Hello, it's uh, Will Kang Bloomfield here from first page of Google. That's first page of all one word dash google.com in case you want to come to my website, which I hope you do. Uh, but today we're going to look at the difference between the free um, home page report that you get from aboutus.org. We know the web, reach out more customers today. Um, and of course, we've got this advert running on their, their website at the moment. But what I'm here to do is to show you how you can get a free uh, report of your web page, your home uh, page. So we'll just type in my web address here, first page of google.com, and we click go. And we just wait a second while it loads. And it should come up fairly, fairly quick this time. Yes, we are. Here it is. And you also get the chance to edit your own page here uh, to give people a bit more information about about your business so, and that's always worth doing you do that just by clicking that pencil there and then you can uh, make the adjustments and there we are and there's my home page analysis as you can see everything is is okay everything's nice and green that's what you want to see but i'll take you a bit deeper into it and here we are titles and headings they're, they're good but let's have a, a click and see the title of a web page in, appears in search results as a link to that page click there to learn more uh, the web page has a title tag and the title tag is a good length um, and the title tag is first page of google local business internet marketing meta description this should be between 50 and 150 characters and it's worth bearing in mind that every comma dot or, or space is counted as a as a character so you need to be quite careful with that the meta description of this site's home page is first page of google local business internet marketing to get more sales and customers more profits for your local business um, and that's exactly 150 characters, I know, because I worked it out. H1 heading. This is the most important uh, part of your website because that's where Google and the other search engines go first to find out what the, um, the page is about. And this one is first page of Google, local business, internet marketing. And you can always learn more by clicking these blue links. Um, if you click them, I'll just show you. It gives you a lot more detail about everything so but we're trying to move on a bit because we've got a lot to cover today and then below that we see how the it will show up in the search results and as you can see that meta description is used there if you don't have a meta description Google will randomly pick out of your site what it thinks to be uh, the most important parts but it's better to to do it correctly so let's move on, right, so we'll go to links and images. This here shows all the links that are going out of my site. And these are all helpful links to people and um, sending them to various parts of the web, uh, all helpful places. Now Google likes to see links going out as well as links coming into a site. Uh, because it shows it cares about the users of your site and uh, that you are giving them useful information. Image, these should all have a, an alt text. I'll just click the learn more there and it will explain how to create an, an alt text uh, into the image. Okay, but anyway, the point is all of the images on my web, web page have got a description. And then we go to the search engine friendliness uh, good the robots uh, of this website is not blocking major search engines from crawling its pages your website can appear in any engine search results canonical url this website can live at www.firstpageofgoogle.com uh, or firstpageofgoogle.com it's best for your site's visibility to live at just one URL or web address. You'll want to create a 301 redirect to the URL that you choose from the other URL. Again, there's a learn more there. 
But the reason that's important really is if you link building, uh, you'll want to make sure that uh, your, your main page, whichever one you choose, the one I've chosen is www.firstpageofgoogle.com, uh, but first page of Google is, is quite often what people type in, they miss out the www. But you want to make sure that all the links are going to the main one, otherwise you're splitting the link juice of your site in two. Uh, so I hope you can understand that all okay. But let's move on now and have a look at the paid for uh, site report and see the difference between the free one and the paid for one. Just give it a bit here. As you can see, I've been quite busy. Uh, these two are my own sites, and you can see that I've got 54 greens there and 48 there. I've got 11 warnings and 12 warnings on country guitar lesson. I've got no actual problems with the sites. But let's just uh, run the site again, or run the report again. Now this, they reckon, is going to take 30 minutes. So really, I should put this video on hold until we until we actually right. The site report is ready. So here we go. We'll click where it says click here. Funnily enough, it's a good place to click, isn't it? And here it comes. Right. So these are the problems that I have on my site, and they're all to do with the title. Um, but you can see here. Uh, the site is allowing search engines, it's not blocking them at all. The can canonical URL has no problem, H1 headings have no problems, meta descriptions no problems, image descriptions no problems, URLs no problems, um, and outbound links. So basically there's not much wrong with this site, it is just the, the, the titles of the pages. Now I'm going to click on one of them to show you how that appears. Now in actual fact that's the that's the actual title of the site. How to get your local business on the first page of Google Places. Now that does actually come within the 70 characters that I'm allowed to, to use there. But on my site I use a, a plugin, it's an SEO plugin and what it does is it, uh, it includes puts this onto the back end of all my titles. Now that's for some uh, SEO purposes. I'm not sure exactly what they do or what it's there for, but I know that it helps. And that won't appear in the search results. So really, this page is, is, is correct. Um, but it, is, it has come up as a warning, so I've felt it fair to, to tell you that. What it says is that the title tag for this page is too long. It should be 70 characters or less, including spaces. The web page has a title tag, the meta description is good, as I went through on the, the other one. H1 headings uh, are all good. Image descriptions, all of the um, images have got descriptions on that page. So we'll just check a couple of these and you find that it's basically, as you can see, we've had that bit. Oops added on again um, but that's our plugin and really I could I could disable the plugin but it's, it's causing more benefit than it is um, well it's not causing a problem at all really but anyway so again that one falls within the 70 characters I know that because I've carefully worked out all of them meta descriptions uh, the meta description of this page is that a there are at least 11 ways that a local website can be a help for local business to help them dominate in their area. The meta description is the right length between 50 and 150 characters. And again, the H1 heading, first page of Google, local business, internet marketing. All the images on that one have um, a description. So I don't think I need to go through all of them because they're all basically the same. But let's have a look here. This will tell you a little more. Allowing search engines, good. The website robots text file is not blocking major search engines from calling its pages. Your website can appear in any search engines results. Canonical URL or URL. 
uh, good, your website resides at www.firstpageofgoogle and firstpageofgoogle.com is permanently redirected to it. Again, we've got learn more links here that you can find out a lot more uh, about. Um, and then we'll have a look at title tags we've just looked at, H1 headings. Congratulations, we found no problem with your H1 headings. Meta descriptions. Congratulations, we found no problems with your meta descriptions. Image descriptions. You have no pages containing images that have not been described with alt text, so that's good news as well. URLs. Congratulations, we found no problems with your URLs. Again, you can find out a bit more about this. Basically, what it's uh, telling you very, very quickly is that the more subfolders that you have, uh, the search engines see the last subfolders as being slightly less relevant than the first ones, and it can combine them. So it's better to not have too many of these forward slashes, because you see, by the time it gets to first article HTML, there, it's beginning to think it's not that important. Anyway, I'm hoping that you've got a, a good idea of how this works. And what I suggest you do is go off, type into the um, search bar about us, that's all one word, dot O-R-G, and uh, get yourself a free, free report. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And again, if you want to come to my website, it's um, first page of all one word, google.com. Thank you very much.